The shortage of donor hearts for patients with end-stage heart failure has accelerated the development of ventricular assist devices or VADs to individually support the left and right ventricles of a failing heart. However, LVADs and RVADs only support the weakened muscle as it pumps but not replace it, hence the source of the problem remains. Daniel Timms and his team from Australia then developed the Bivocar Total Artificial Heart which aims to completely replace the failing heart. It uses magnetically suspended and rotated impellers to continuously pump blood at an adequate rate and pressure. Conventional heart pumps are designed to mimic the natural pumping mechanism of a healthy human heart which is driven by the positive displacement or the expansion and contraction of the myocardium. Syncardia and Karma's total artificial hearts use air and hydraulic fluids respectively to expand and contract a diaphragm which pushes the blood. Although effective and powerful, these systems however have at least 50 moving parts that should beat millions and millions of times per month. This causes the components to wear and deteriorate fast, and is precisely the reason why the device fails after a maximum of two years. To solve this problem, Daniel Timms created a bivad that has only one moving part which does not touch anything so that there will be no mechanical wear due to friction. This significantly increased the durability and efficiency of the heart design while shrinking it into a more compact size to fit even the chest of a child. Bivocar augments the function of both the left and right cardiac chambers using its back-to-back -back double impellers placed on a single rotor. Rotating between 2000 and 2500 RPM, the center of each impeller creates a region of low pressure which draws in the blood and uses centrifugal force to push the blood in a constant flow rate of around 5 liters per minute with systemic and pulmonary mean arterial pressures of 90 and 20 millimeters of mercury respectively. However, continuous outflow of blood may lead to complications such as embolus, hemolysis, and thrombosis. Hence, they developed a controller which will move the impeller along its axis to alter the flow rate and mimic pulsatile blood flow. While maintaining the arterial pressure and rotational speed, a movement toward the left cavity increased the left outflow to 6.4 liters per minute, while the right outflow was reduced to 4.6 liters per minute, representing an instantaneous flow differential of 1.8 liters per minute. Although similar to a ventricular septal defect, the shunt from the high pressure left to the low pressure right cavity helps to wash the impeller and prevent clot buildup. Leakage in this region is minimized to less than 20% by the incorporation of a radial hydrodynamic journal bearing. Bivacor owns several patents including one for the idea of a fluid transporting apparatus implanted within a biological subject that uses magnetically levitated and rotated impellers. It also has a patent for the controller that alters the distance of the pillars from the magnets and the process by which it works. Finally, there's also one for the entire heart pump system. Unfortunately, despite owning a number of patents, Bifocor has yet to gain FDA approval in order to start clinical trial on human patients. Nevertheless, similar maglev rotary pumps can be used to facilitate hemodialysis to help patients with kidney failure. Implantable artificial kidneys can be made by combining the power of the maglev rotor pump with a self-cleaning dialyzing membrane and altering the flow rate and pressure to appropriate for renal activity. Another application would be a more permanent heart replacement by changing the charging system into a wireless one. Removal of percutaneous leads would minimize the risk of infection while making the process more efficient.